Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you about SocialPub. Um, I made a comparison video as well that should be up a little bit after this video between SocialPub and NovaShare. NovaShare is definitely my preferred sharing plugin right now, but this is also a really good sharing plugin. It is fast, it's fairly lightweight, it's not much heavier than NovaShare. The only real disadvantage it had was about 1.4 kilobytes more CSS and it has 10 kilobytes of font files that are not downloaded with NovaShare. But now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about what you get in the free version and whether this should really be the plugin for you. One thing that I'm going to say right now is you do not get click to tweet. Click to tweet is just something I kind of expected, but it's not always provided. So you really get these two bits of functionality, the floating sidebar, which is buttons that float off to the left-hand side of the post and your inline content, which is just the standard above and below post. I have these both enabled, but I'm going to go through and just show you what you're able to do. So you click on the settings of your floating buttons. You're able to select X amount of networks. You get Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, email, and print for free. The must, the rest are behind a paywall. These are decent social networks. The only one that I still wish was included would be gosh what's another one that i use a free one that not many people use but it's just kind of thrown in there is uh mix.com mix.com is uh basically stumble upon 2.0 it's not very good in my opinion but that's not what we're here to talk about i just expected another useful sharing service because not many people use emails and print social icon buttons anymore they're kind of dated because everybody who emails a link is just copying it and emailing at them and everybody's printing the link. I honestly don't know who's printing articles anymore. It's 2020, but that's besides the point. Now we're going to talk about these display settings. So first of all, you can edit the label, which just allows you to modify the text of the button. And you could change this to say whatever you want. You could say instead of Pinterest, you could say pin it or LinkedIn. You could link it, something along those lines and you can easily drag and drop to change the order. It's basically the standard setup that you expect with most sharing pl plugins nowadays. You do get some interesting display options. You could choose the button shape to be rectangular, rounded, and circle. You can really see where NovaShare got some of their styling ideas. There's the circle, the rounded squares, and then the squares which they dub as rectangles. Just gonna say, definitely feels like there was some slight inspiration here. Um, by default, if you have the sharing buttons get up enabled, you have a show total share count. Um, I personally have made it clear I'm not a fan of share counters, but if you're somebody who likes that, you will be able to enable them to either be before the buttons or after the buttons. To show you what that looks like, here's before and there's after. I think the after looks a little less intrusive but I just think that it's fairly ugly anyways because I don't really like share counters then you could just share a uh, share count as round it what this will do is it will round it up so as I mentioned here if you have 1267 it will show it as 1.2k if you had 905 956 it would say it as 1000 well not in this case because it has to be larger than a thousand shares but you get the point. It just rounds it down to the nearest 100th. So if you have 1,348, it would then be 1.3 and so on and so forth. And then you could choose to show an individual share count for each of the social networks. If you enable this option, it will show it underneath each one that supports it. it does not support Twitter and or LinkedIn. And that's because most platforms don't send the share information anymore. It's kind of a uh, wasted data in my opinion. Under the display settings, you also get some additional options. You could choose to, as we mentioned, change how the buttons are displayed to be rounded, rectangular, or circle. Uh, the circle ones on the sidebar, in my opinion, look probably the, the nicest. The button position can be on the left or the right-hand side of the screen. Almost everybody's going to do it on the left-hand side of the screen because if it's on the right, nobody's ever going to see it. You can do the show button labels, which is the individual text. So if you enable this, it's going to show that little um, text right next to it. At least it should. Yep, Facebook, Twitter, and it pops out when you hover over it. 
You could do button spacing, which will add a bottom spacing between each of the buttons, and you could choose to show it on mobile or not. My general advice is don't show floating buttons on mobile. Don't do that to the users. It just takes up more valuable screen real estate. And that's really about all you get. It's pretty bare bones, and then you could just choose what post types to show it on. Now, the inline content is where you're gonna have a bit of more flexibility just for how you wanna customize it. It's basically the exact same options. It's pretty cookie click, uh, cookie, <laughs> cookie clutter, not cookie clicker. You could choose the styling to be rectangular. You can have a show icon animation when it says will animate the social media icon when the user hovers over the button. So when you do it, ah yes, sliding animation. Ah, very fancy. It, I'm not personally a fan of it, but if you like it, then by all means leave it. Uh, above and below is fine. The number of columns allows you to dictate how many buttons are allowed to be shown. So if you, I have, uh, how many buttons do I have enabled? I have four buttons enabled. So if I set this to two columns, I should get two buttons shown and then there'll be a, a separator between the two. And it did just that. No complaints there. Here's something that's interesting though. Because I chose circle, they just filled the position. So it's not much of a circle as much as it's more of a pill. Uh, really, the, you could just do width auto as well. That should eliminate most of the immediate concerns. Uh, it looks kind of uh, interesting. I do like the flexibility you immediately get though. The number of columns is a feature I don't see in most other plugins. I don't think NovaShare off the top of my head had it installed. And I know for a fact Social Warfare doesn't have it in the free version. The columns just allow you to give it a little bit more flexible layout. The one thing I will say though is because the free version has functionally four share buttons, it's kind of not something to worry about because there's so few share buttons. But the width auto is probably what I would use for most of my situations. You could just do a share text, which is this little blurb above it. We're just, we're just gonna delete that. You could choose to show the button labels, which is the little share, tweet, pin, and LinkedIn option, and you can modify it just like you've done on the other one. I'm gonna turn that off too. And then you could choose to put button spacing, and then you could choose to show it or hide it on mobile. You get the exact same share account or options as you did on the previous page with the floating sidebar. I'm just gonna turn that off too because I'm not a fan of share counters. Ah, now this is my style. Looks great. It's got the cute sliding emotion, I guess I'll leave that. But other than that, simple, sweet, to the point. Um, you get some settings that are kind of superfluous. They're just for modifying the output. So you could put your Twitter username here, and this is when somebody clicks the button, it will tweet at you. So if somebody shares this post on Twitter, it would tweet at Scott T. Hartley, which is my Twitter handle. And then you could choose to add the username to all tweets. I would just do this. Facebook uh, share accounts provider. You could choose to use the Grow by Mediavine app. This is their own service. You'll have to authorize Grow, which will probably involve you signing up for the Mediavine account. Mm -hmm. But I do recommend you use their service if you can. The other alternative is the Facebook Graph API, which will require you to set up an app and then get the app ID and the app secret. I'm not going to bother doing that though because as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of share counters, but they do have documentation on the on their website by clicking the documentation link. That will help you get that set up. And then you have the disable open graph meta tags. If you're using, if you're using Yoast SEO or really any SEO plugin, disable this. Otherwise, what will happen is you can get a couple things. Number one, you can get conflicting share information. So when you go to Facebook and you share the image, they may pull two different images to show as the share image. That can cause you some issues. Sometimes it'll just show an empty box. And this can happen with a variety of platforms. My advice is only use one plugin. And I always use my SEO plugin because I can edit on those pages which image I want to show. And then you can enable the Twitter tweet count. As it mentions, this uses twitcount.com in order for Grow2 to be able to show the share icons. If you enable this, it will automatically connect to their service. This is a free fix for the Twitter's decision to deactivate share counts. It's, it's an awesome functionality. Twitter, as they mentioned on their website, stopped showing share counters in 2015, five years ago. And that's pretty much when I decided I'm not gonna show them either. 
really, it's a great. This is a great plugin. It's slightly more bloated in terms of its page weight than Nova Share. But if you're already using it, or if you were using Social Warfare, this is still going to be faster than that. The Pro version is where you get some of the features you'd probably actually want to use. And if you want to upgrade to Pro, I'll just go to their website and see what it costs. So $34 a year is pretty cheap for a single license. I will note though that Nova Shares I think is 29, so it's a little bit more expensive than that. And I think Social Warfare Pros is about the same as Nova Shares. So this is a more pricey option if you're trying to get premium share buttons. But it's still a great plugin. I, I wouldn't say not buy it over the other ones. It's not as fast as Nova Shares, but it's still lightweight compared to a lot, and I mean a lot of the competition. If you have any questions, you can as always ask in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.